So apparently Billie Eilish is now cancelled. Now it's been a while since I've seen a cancellation, I'm not even going to sit here and cap with you. But this has to be one of the people who I least expected to be covering on here one day about getting a cancellation. I mean seriously guys, do you know who Billie Eilish's fans are? Those same TikTok girls who have the coloured hair and the she, her, they, them, vampire self in the bio are her fans bro. This is who they look up to. Billie Eilish is quite literally the most politically correct and probably one of the biggest artists in the entire music industry right now. So what the heck is going on? Well, I don't think it's a surprise that it's dumb. But I'm not even going to tell you guys what it is though. We're going to watch a video together that explains it and go through everything. So sit back, relax, get the popcorn and roll the flipping clip. So some of you all might be asking why Billie Eilish gets a lot of hate right now or why people even try to cancel her, although she is happier than ever with her new boyfriends. So the first problem that came to our minds is Yo hold on, this girl is boring as hell dog. I'ma fix this real quick. Minds is that she acted like she likes girls, which obviously hyped up a lot of people from the LGBTQ community. And then these people found out that she has a boyfriend, which was like the first shock for them. I mean she could literally just be bi. Now if y'all don't know what she's talking about, basically Billie Eilish posted this picture a couple days ago with the caption I love girls. Now this can either be interpreted as I love and appreciate the female gender as in I, I love them, they're beautiful, they're amazing creatures, or it can mean I am sexually attracted to one and I want some coochie on my face right this very moment. Billie has said many times in the past that she's straight so this could be her coming out or she could just be trolling which is something that's apparently called queer baiting and people get very offended by queer baiting as you can probably tell so is Billie Eilish gay uh, I guess we'll never know but what we do know is that she got a nigga or at least we think it's her nigga because I've seen people say that they've never actually confirmed that they were dating but anyways that's the first thing now on to the second part and this second part mostly focuses on her quote-unquote boyfriend and then it turns out that this boyfriend is a 30 year old homophobic and racist person which obviously does not fit the way Billie Eilish pretended to be or for the way she actually is and this really Yo I'm sorry dog I can't listen to this girl anymore L let's just go into the actual proof of whether or not he's actually homophobic or racist because like time out my nigga those are some pretty hefty accusations right there let's see why they're calling him these things roll the other clip <laughs> I mean, if we're being honest right here, this tweet just kind of looks like he's dissing religion. The point of the tweet seems to be that God is contradictory if he supposedly loves all people yet hates gay people. And we all know God doesn't actually hate anybody. But this is a very common argument that people use against religion because of how certain people have portrayed it to be. Maybe it's the fact that he said the F word that makes people think he's homophobic, but if anything, he looks like he's defending gay people here. And for the F word in and of itself, this word was a lot more acceptable to use 10 years ago. In fact, it was a lot more acceptable to use 5 years ago because you could literally say that on YouTube and not get terminated, people wouldn't care just like Leafy his hair did and all those other edgy people on the internet back then. It really was a different environment. Now for the second thing here, we have him simply saying the n-word with the A. Now as a member of the darker skinned community, yes he shouldn't be using the n-word dog, but to be very honest with you, it was the n-word with the A bro. If you are white and you're going to tell me that you've never said that word while rapping along to your favorite song or just said it as a joke, you'd be lying right now. It can be disrespectful if used around people without their permission, but in general it doesn't mean that you're literally a racist person to say the n-word with the A. If you said the ER, then I would understand more where y'all are coming from, but this is just it's not it's not as bad as you're making it seem literally most black people don't even care about this type of stuff as long as it's not used in a hateful way it's mostly white people who feel the white guilt and feel the need to be offended on our behalfs like so yeah he shouldn't be using the word but just because he said it in a tweet 10 years ago does not mean he hates black people then for this next thing right here about Asian people, I don't know what the context of this was. I have no clue what he's talking about here because it's not a stereotype for Asian people to wear masks or have anything to do with them. That only really became a thing since COVID and I don't know if y'all know but COVID-19 started in 2019, not 20 flipping 12. So I have no clue what this man was talking about here but it doesn't seem to be any racial stereotype. Not sure why he said Asian people explicitly but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's hating on them. This is probably the only thing that you might have some reason to call him 
somewhat racist for it because maybe there is some type of negative context to this but because we don't actually know what we're talking about we we can't know for sure and i don't know about y'all but i won't like to jump to conclusions without evidence <laughs> wait 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 is that it that, that's it bro like is that actually it bro you can't be si yo i'm gonna just end the video right here then because my nigga like bro three tweets from 10 years ago you know what let's hypothetically say these tweets were extremely disgusting and absolutely detrimental to human existence as a whole it's 10 years ago my guy you don't know how much this guy could have changed his beliefs in 10 years 10 years ago some of the people canceling him weren't even freaking born yet there's plenty of time for somebody to change during that time and until you see proof from today that this man shares the same beliefs you really can't cancel him so anyway after all of this blew up billy eilish apparently got upset or something of the sort because who wouldn't be if random accusations are being thrown your way and she saw a post basically calling her fan base embarrassing and she decided to like the post now first of all i want to say that people have been very misleading because they're saying billy called her fan base embarrassing which leaves a whole different impression since you think that she actually went out and raged at her fans and called them embarrassing when that's not what happened she literally just liked a post that already said that now it's not good marketing to this year own fan base in any way shape or form but looking at it from her perspective if you're getting all of this hate just because people are being sensitive you're gonna feel that way too and listen as a black man if this man is genuinely racist then of course he should definitely be punished for his crimes i'm not trying to get hate crime out here my nigga you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to get hate crime but we can't be accusing people of this with literally no proof dog like tweets from 10 years ago are absolutely no Yo, you just can't do that my guy but anyways let me know what y'all think in the comments below if you did not enjoy this video remember to slap that dislike button i'm probably gonna get the dislikes from them old billy fans who have turned on her but anyways guys it's been your boy john and you are now leaving my mind